All right, I done tried this one time. It didn't work well as a flip because I didn't have a phone where I could see it. I am not able to aim a phone where the hell was a, was a, was a nothing. I, where, the, where is the darn, where is the lens at? Lens up here somewhere. And I keep forgetting where the lens is at. So I, I can't ever get things in the, in the framework. All right, let me tell you something. This thing right here is a joke. This, this is a wrench that they sent with the 4S Outcast and Creighton. It's, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's supposed to be a wrench, take tires off, do other stuff, but it ain't worth a flip. I hope I don't knock the camera over. This thing is just useless. I, I, I guess I could find something useful, but I ain't figured it out yet. And this, I think that was supposed to take the tires off, I mean, the wheels off. But I done rounded that thing out where it ain't worth a darn. And uh, I don't I don't know, you you should be able to do something with it. But I I have bought little children's tool box kits, you know, toys to play with. Think they want to be a mechanic kids. I want some tools, so you give them some tools and uh, give it to them for a Christmas or a birthday present or just cause you like a little song gun. And uh, it got better damn tools in it than this head. This this thing is just a joke, the $400 for a vehicle, and I'm an old man, so that sounds pretty excessive. I, I paid less than that for my first car, my first real car, but I, that's the way things go nowadays. And and they go and throw something in like this. This, this thing is just, just no good, no good whatsoever. I was cleaning up some space for my new computer, and it's got a Hemi in it. I know y'all don't believe that, but it has. And uh, I found this thing. That's upside down. Y'all can't read that upside down. I found it. Oh, I forget. That's a darn thing over on. This is a Castle Creation 10 amp peak uh, BEC. It says it's 4.8 volt to 9 volt out. And they still make these things. I looked them up on, on the internet. And Castle still makes this thing. Must be a good one. And I thought it was on my East Savage, but if it did, I, it ain't on there now. It wasn't on there when I found it. So I don't know. I don't know why that thing's on, you know, laying around here. But it's, it's good. I may find some use for it. Let me lay it down. No, don't lay it over there. Don't lay it over there. I might, might mess that thing up and get a little too close to that darn wrench. I don't want to do that. And uh, let's get this out of the way for a second here. And I found an ammo... In-runner brushless motor. Well, I don't know what an in-runner is, but it's Electrify GPM G5320. I'll have to look it up and see if it still make it. It's a 36, 56, 2600 kilovolt. Kilovolt. It's hard for me to say. They ain't got no teeth. And uh, it's got all kinds of stuff on the back here. If y'all want to read it, I don't know what you can or not. I can't have it. See the light glaring on it to me. But uh, y'all may be able to see it better than I can. But this is the motor that I got in my E-Savage. And it just ripped the damn shafts out of it. Them little plastic shafts was made for them Titan, little Titan 540 motors. And uh, they do pretty good if you don't, you know, you don't do nothing but to stop motors. But this thing right here will rip the shaft from out of an E-Savage. It just, it just, let me get that thing away from here. That thing right there messed up this motor. That thing all, all. Uh, Ripped the shaft out of East Average, and that's one of the reasons that I quit playing with. I bought I bought me one, a buddy of mine bought him one, and he just he just couldn't handle it, so he gave it to me or tried to. I paid him for it. I didn't pay him quite what it was worth because I had to argue with him about it anyhow. Uh, but uh, I give it to Sarah, and she just didn't play with it. It's just it's just sitting down there on the closet. I'll get it out one of these days. It's ready to go. All I need to do is get the battery trays on it, which that's all wrong with mine. I need to put some battery trays on it and get some decent batteries in it if it'll handle it. But I might have to go back to stock motors because I just I don't want I don't want to replace them shafts. Let me lay that over. I don't get it too close to that wrench. That that dang on wrench. I'll mess that thing up in a minute. And I, I knew I had some of this stuff. There's a pair of don't say it on that side, y'all. Dubro. Dubro, I'm gonna get over here. Get what a darn camera lens that Dubro racing flex hand cutters. They ain't very big. These out of my fingers, you know, change shape or something like that. Maybe my fingers got fatter. Oh, my fingers got fatter. But I used to do some body work cutting flex hand and 
a little bit of paint, not much. I never did like it all that good. I'm not that good at it. I make more of a mess. When I was building model airplanes, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, I got a little frog in my throat, ribbit. But uh, I was building model airplanes. I didn't mind building. I liked building a model airplane. I hated sanding that stuff down and painting and priming and all that stuff. We, when we first started building model airplane, when I did, you had to you had to seal the wood up with some kind of stuff, and then you painted it with something called dope. <laughs> You got a bottle of dope and had all them colors. They had clear dope. And uh, I like them things. And I don't want to give them too close to that wrench over there because it mess them up. And uh, we we done that. And I was never no good at it. And then it came out with monocoat. Monocoat was a great thing. But you still had to sand it down and get it sealed and everything. Because if you put monocoat on over something that looked like crap, it would look like crap too. And uh, I had the little iron and... And all that stuff, you know, and your heat gun, you, you shrink the monocoat with. That's pretty good stuff. They ought to be able to do that to these cars. I might do a monocoat job on these cars and uh, make a pretty good body. I've seen Kevin Talbot try to wrap one. I think it was him trying to wrap one. <laughs> he didn't do a damn bit better than I would have. All right, that's enough about these things. Let me let it, don't, don't get them over that close to that Charles. I'll mess them up now. That ain't no count. Now, let me see what this is. Oh, yeah. I found, this is Dubro too. Dubro, it says right there on it, Dubro. Get over here, Charles. Over here is the lens. You gotta remember that shit. Excuse me, that stuff. I ain't gonna cut that out either. This says Dubro, and I, I have cut a few body holes with it, reamed them out, and that thing's still pretty sharp. It will cut you in a heartbeat, and uh, you gotta be careful playing with these things. So, uh, I just thought I'd let y'all know that I'm, I'm still playing around and I'm finding things. I ain't getting no racing done. I ain't getting no car playing done because I ain't got nobody to video me. And evidently, I ain't got sense enough to video myself. So I won't have to wait to find somebody else and do that. And Sarah, Sarah tried, but she just missed me all together today. I just can't figure out where them videos went, but they out there somewhere. Y'all might see them when they go by and uh, grab one of them and put them on the internet for me if you do. I'm going to put this back in here. Cause I don't want to get it over that close to that and mess it up and make it dull. It won't work no more. And, uh, hang on. I hung up. Right. And then I put these back in there like this. And that ain't good. I'm going to get me a different holder for that. I'm going to lay all that over there. And, oh, I got one more thing I want to show y'all people. This thing right here is what old folks need. This is a grabber. You grab stuff with this if you're old. And you can't bend over like I, I can't. You just, it's, 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 it's a neat thing. This is a good one, too. I can pick up a cat with this thing. So, and it turns. You can you can turn it that way, and you can turn it that way. And when I ride the lawnmower, I, if it's a limb out there, a little limb or something like that, I reach and grab that thing. It's, uh, I don't knock the camera out of the way. I reach and grab it just like that right there. And you know what I do with it when I reach and grab it just like that right there? I throw this son of a gun out across the darn yard like that. And it's gone and done with, and I hope I broke that thing and ain't never messing with it again. So if you like this video, y'all know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Don't give me no thumbs down. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Or, or if they're bad, I don't want to hear it. You can leave me some good comments. But uh, that's about all I got right now. Let me see if I can get this button down. This thing, I'm on a, it's on a little camera tripod. I'm going to see if this button will turn this thing off.